Watch Dogs Legion didn't flop in its sales numbers where in 3 days it sold 1.9 million copies compared to Watch Dogs 2's 431,000 copies in November 2016 according to VGCharts.com. Reviews for Legion were mixed saying that the game lacked depth to its characters as was seemingly the consequence of being able to play as any NPC which I thought was such a great feature and really was the driving force behind those initial sale numbers. The Watch Dogs Legion expansion packs fixed these issues by allowing players to play as Aiden Pierce with a new story expansion alongside being able to play as Aiden in the main Watch Dogs Legion base campaign. A lot of people praised the inclusion of the Assassin's Creed crossover character Darcy as well as the City of London which Ubisoft Studios do a remarkable job of recreating these major locations in all of their games. However, Legion did not sell anywhere as near to the numbers of Assassin's Creed Valhalla which has made 1 billion dollars in revenue for Ubisoft due to its post launch content and its live service microtransaction model and paid expansions. We now know that Ubisoft is going all in with Assassin's Creed with 10 plus games in development being Assassin's Creed Mirage, Red, Hexe, Nexus, Invictus, Jade, Project Raid, Ubisoft Sophia's Project Nebula. Uh, based in India, the Aztec Empire and the Mediterranean and Ubisoft Anarchy's Project Echoes, a multiplayer game based on Ubisoft's scalar cloud technology and whatever other Assassin's Creed games are in development, I know there's probably a, um, a Netflix only, there's like a, some Netflix um, crossover game where it's going to be a part of the Assassin's Creed N uh, Netflix universe because they're developing an anime as well as a live action series. We haven't heard any rumours of any Watchdog game currently being worked on by any of the Ubisoft studios. We know there's an Avatar and Star Wars game by Massive, Splinter Cell remake in the works, a Ghost Recon next mainline game in the works, the AC games, the Prince of Persia remake is still being worked on, Skull and Bones and Far Cry is also being handled by a new creative director for the next mainline game. However, Ubisoft has cancelled a lot of projects that were in the pipeline and most of them were the 12 Battle Royale games they had in development all at the same time. Now one of those Battle Royale games was the next entry into the Watch Dogs franchise which was seemingly leaked on 4chan but again take all this with a grain of salt now that we're going into this 4chan leak territory. Now the game was supposedly going to be called Watchdogs.exe and was set to be a 50 person based stealth battle royale game. The game took place in Tokyo and was the same size as Ca the Camden region in Watchdogs Legion and Toronto and Paris were also set to be developed for the game but the project was cancelled at the end of 2022. There were plans to include microtransactions like character skins like Aiden Pierce, Cassandra from uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Anton Castillo from Far Cry 6. Unfortunately, it seems like the plan was to utilize all their IP making them into battle royale games to make as much money as possible. But due to the cancellations of a majority of these projects, Ubisoft has hopefully and now has realized single player games is their strength. However, even their single player games recently haven't been so great. However, with the success of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it seems their microtransaction process and continued post launch support is their new strategy for their upcoming games. This is why they are creating Assassin's Creed Infinity, to link all the AC games together moving forward, to try and create a system where it's easier to update and support their AC games years after launch, and if this strategy works, they will utilize it in the majority of their IP. It's already in the plans for the Far Cry series, but they will first test the waters with the Assassin's Creed universe to get to grips with the technology and the formula they're going to be using moving forward. As for Watch Dogs, it may be taking a hiatus for quite a while until they have a new idea like the play as a NPC gimmick, which I enjoyed, to revitalize and garner interest for their next addition to the series. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, God bless, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.